Hello, good afternoon. We are here at Mobile World Congress 2024 to discuss how telecoms embrace AI for improving productivity, automate processes, and deliver better experiences for end users. There are mainly three areas where telecoms are planning to embrace AI, and those are specifically networks, operations, and then monetization use cases. Uh, there are also a variety of uh, applications and use cases that they are planning to use. Things like network slicing and optimization, informing, antenna management, dynamic spectrum allocation, smart resource allocation, and mainly energy savings. As part of this demo, we are showing two main use cases. One of them is based on machine learning for automating uh, the connectivity between terminals and radio units based on AI. It's actually an application from a, a, a company that is a partner of Dell called Ira. Uh, and then we are showing a second use case that is based on uh, um, operations for telecom using a run GPT engine. So the first use case is uh, you know, AI-based massive MIMO optimization. We use AI algorithm to understand how the users are located and moving. And based on AI capabilities, we try to predict the next move of those end users. Uh, with this information, the AI algorithm is also capable of reconfiguring the electronic beam of the massive MIMO antenna in such a way that it better covers uh, the, the desired end users. You can see here on this graph, you know, the difference between the channel estimation without the AI algorithm and then by using the AI algorithm. <laughs> the results of this technology are basically better speeds, better sin signal to, to noise relationship, and of course, better spectral efficiency, the ability to cover the same amount of users with less cells comparing to the same network without the algorithm. And then of course, uh, reduction on the number of cells and capex reduction of up to 52%. The second use case we are showing today is around telecom operations. One of the difficulties telecoms have is about fragmentation on networks. So the, the engineers, the ones that operate the network, they need to understand the context of many different fragmented networks. And sometimes they also need to understand the language on how to use to talk to these networks. So by using a run GPT, which is a GPT specialized in network operations, we transfer all this complexity to the GPT itself. And then the GPT connects to the network and makes the, intermediates the conversation between the network operator and the network itself. So in such a way that operators can talk in natural language with the, the run GPT and then the run GPT is connected near real time to the network and can uh, either write the commands given by the operator or extract the information from the network. So Dell Technologies is also bringing servers in such a way that uh, we can cover the different modularities required by telecom operators. If you think, for example, about centralized training and distributed inferencing. So we have big servers with the ability to host uh, many GPUs inside. We have mid-sized servers that probably would be distributed at the edge, and then we have smaller size servers that would be at the far edge. One of the additional values we are trying to compose with our partners is about the end-to-end -end stack to enable telecoms to embrace AI. So what Dell Technologies is doing is creating validated solutions with our partners and also covering the services from an end-to-end -end perspective from the cons consulting to delivery to, to, to the operations of the AI network. To learn more about this technology, please connect to delltechnologies.com or to AIRA directly.